don't hear about global warming and we hear that you know it's destroying polar bear populations and is having a pretty you know pretty dramatic effects on things like phenology so the timing of life history events and on um, you know things like species ranges species ranges are shifting more northward or to higher elevations um, and you know in some cases we think it could even cause extinctions but there's really not a whole lot of good demographic data showing these effects so it's just kind of trying to get an idea of how these environmental changes like rising CO2 concentrations or global warming impact plant populations immediately, but then also whether there might be effects over longer time scales because they might be evolving in response to kind of these novel conditions. So the way we're doing that is by reciprocal transplant experiments. So we have a site up here in Michigan, which is about the center of the species range, and we have a second site down in Georgia, which is the southern range limit. And so we've collected seeds from all across the species range, and we can grow them up here in Michigan. We can grow them up in the southern warmer environment and see how well these different populations do. The problem with those types of experiments is that there's lots of other things that vary between Michigan and Georgia. And so to really kind of nail down that it's due to warming, we're manipulating temperature in the field. So we're setting up these, these field warming treatments where we suspend these tiny little heaters like four feet above the ground and it's enough to heat a three meter diameter circle by one and a half to three degrees Celsius. What we have here are plants from six different populations, three populations up north, so Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and three populations down south around North Carolina and Georgia, so near the southern range limit. What we're doing now is just trying to balk up our seeds for future experiments. So we take a flower from one particular individual and rub its pollen on the female reproductive parts of another of another flower. And that way we can get all these collections of seeds that we know exactly who the mom is, exactly who the dad is, and then that allows us to do quantitative genetics on, on, on the offspring when we plant them out into these warming rings. Even small differences in temperature affect the growth of these plants, and the magnitude of that effect depends on whether the population came from a northern region or a southern region.